Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this is the sixth of 15 videos in the mobile weather app series. A link to the app website is in the description below, as well as links to the other 14 videos in the series. In this video, we'll be beginning to develop the full mobile weather application for iOS. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notification when new videos in the series and others are released. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. And if you feel inclined to support my work, you can always buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link in the description below. No pressure. Well, now that our testing is out of the way, it's time to start creating our actual app. I'm going to start by getting it functional, but it won't be pretty. I'll be using some pretty novice techniques that would not be considered best practice, and my plan is to keep improving on the UI and the architecture over the course of the remainder of this series. The way I'm developing this app right now is how I started developing apps, and I had no idea about structure. I'll be using techniques that have been shared over the course of the last year on my channel, and when applicable, I'll point you to the specific video if you care to review a particular topic, just as I did during part one. This is going to be a Swift UI project, so let's start by creating a new project that you can call what you want. I'm going to call mine Mobile Weather App. First thing I'm going to do is copy the API service from my Playground project that I completed at the end of part one into this project. Now, if you're starting this series at this video, you can download that completed resource from the previous video from the link in the description below. Just have both files open and locate the API service.swift file in the sources folder of the playground and drag it from there into your new project, making sure you have copy items if needed checked. The other thing you want to do is to create a file that contains our model. So in the new project, create a Swift file called forecast. Open the weather app playground and copy the forecast struct from there and paste it into your new file. Back in our project in content view, let's begin by creating our UI and we are going to do that by creating our search field. For this, I'll use a simple text field, but I'll need to define a property for that. And for now, I'm going to create one called location as a private var, initialized as an empty string and decorated with the state property wrapper. Now this is going to change later, but I want to make sure first that I can use the API service and things are working as they should. Next, replace hello world with a text field with the title being enter location and the text being bound to our state variable location. Next, add a text field style of rounded border text field style. We want a search button to the right of this text field, so embed the text field in an H stack. As the second item in the H stack, add a button, leaving the action empty for the moment. But for the label, we can use an image with a system name of magnifyingglass.circle.fill. And I'll set the font to Title 3. Now embed the H stack in a V stack and add a spacer as the second item of the V stack to push our search field up to the top. Add some horizontal padding to the V stack. Next, embed the VStack in a navigation view, and then set the navigation title to Mobile Weather. Next, we'll create a function called GetWeatherForecast that has one parameter called Location, and that'll be a string. And back in our action for our button, in the body, we can call this function using our location text view string as the argument. For testing purposes now then, return to your playground and copy the code below the struct definition and paste it into the body of the function. 
Replace the string that you had in the CL geocoder function here, which in my case is Paris, with the function argument location. This won't compile yet until we import core location. And taking advice from Paul Hudson from Hacking with Swift, I'm going to organize these imports alphabetically. Let me run the app now in the simulator, and I can enter a city in the search field and tap on the search button. You see that the results are being printed to the console. Let me clear the console and try another city. Great, we know it's working now, so the next step is to present that information in a list view instead of in the console.